Yo, what's cracking, people? Thanks for tuning in. It's Doubt V Slam. Get excited, motherfuckers. All right, I won't whisper anymore. Uh, Doubt and Slam, this is going to be a really interesting matchup, I think. That's my guess. Haven't seen this game. Try not to see the games in advance because it really does ruin ruin it for me. So it's a better cast if I'm having fun. Anyway, enough about me. Saracens v Byzantines on this map. Doubt might be might be my favorite player in a non-mirror matchup. He just seems to be like a little bit more creative and a little bit more prepared for these random sets of sieves. Let's see if he pulls this one out. Doubt playing at a really high level as of late. His rating has been creeping upward in 1v1, uh, and he's a force to be reckoned with. However, you know, Slam here is near 2400, uh, and he is maybe the best Arabia player known to man. I don't know. That's a tall claim. But we'll see. We'll see how this particular game goes. Uh, Slam here playing in the blue it will be Byzantines, and he will be taking on Doubt playing as Saracen. It's going to be interesting to see what these guys decide to go with unit-wise. Uh, I'm not even going to speculate at this point. We're just going to look at the map and try to figure out what these players might be thinking. So, Slam's got ATC that's relatively close to the edge of the map. He's got back berries. He's got gold to the side. He's got a very wallable left flank if he wants to wall it up, and I think he'll probably want to do that. Both boars on the front, so if Doubt were in the mood, he could try to steal one of those. Uh, stone on the front for Mr. Slam might be a little difficult for him to take, uh, but this stone on top of the hill is maybe a little bit more protectable within his sphere of influence, I suppose. Uh, for now, Slam's scouting around, finding his sheep. All in all, I'd say this is an okay map. The wood lines aren't great, but all in all, I mean, if he walls in one side here, if he walls in one side here, I think he's in decent shape. Four vills on wood early, so potentially a drush coming from the Byzantine player. Doubt on the other side will be playing in the red trunks. He will be Saracens. He will send four villagers over to wood. Seems to be a fraction behind Slam. Slam's got his four villager wood line established and a villager coming out to grab the boar. Maybe Doubt just sent a vill to get the boar before his wood line. But nonetheless, the red player is pushing in some deer. He's got back berries. He's got a pretty nice back wood line here. Uh, stone to the side, very wallable map for the blue player as well, especially, I'm sorry, the red player as well, especially the left flank here. Pretty wallable left flank for Doubt. He can block in the front. He could block in this entire map if he did just a bit of work. He would have two safe gold piles and some really, really nice safe wood as well. So we'll see what Doubt decides to do. Both players are in a position to try to drush, distract their opponent, wall up a little bit and go quickly to the castle age uh, so we could see that out of either player they both really could uh, basically drush fast castle uh, not really something you see pro players do too too often uh, but drushing to keep your opponent busy building a couple of units in the feudal age to keep your opponent honest but mostly just booming up that eco and walling yourself in uh, that could be something we see Nonetheless, uh, looking at the scouting, Doubt is coming forward at the moment. Slam is still scouting his side rather intensely. Sometimes that means that players are really thinking deeply about walling. Sometimes it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so let's not think about it too much. <laughs> I like when I, I, I like make fun of my own analysis. Sometimes you can really learn a lot about this, but usually it's pointless. Uh, anyway, scout coming forward now uh, for the red player, Doubt. He's going to find this hill to the side. If he could control this hill in some way, he'd be in great shape, but it's hard to envision because it's a long, long walk for him to get to this part of the map. Slam's going forward now as well. His scout is starting to uh, work its way toward Doubt's base. Looks like we are going to see a second lumber camp coming up for Doubt. We do not see a barracks. Uh, at the moment, we are on 18 villagers. Doubt is a full vill behind. Looks like he had to loom up to get one of his boars. So Doubt doesn't actually look like he's drushing, but Slam on the other side does seem to be in it to win it. Slam loves to build militia during the transition into the Feudal Age uh, and then go men-at-arms, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if he did something like that here as well. Nonetheless, early barracks is up. We are not seeing militia queued. We see Slam on 500 food. He's clicking up to the Feudal Age, baby. Leaving Doubt in his dust, at least as far as click up time. Looks like Doubt will be, yeah, way in his dust. Seven seconds behind. Take it easy, Killer B. Take it down a notch, bro. 
Anyway, Feudal Age coming in for both players. We are seeing, we are not seeing Militia coming out for Slam at the moment. He has the resources to do it. He hasn't taken the extra 10 gold. He hasn't sent villagers over to gold. Uh, so it's not going to be men at arms. Just an early barracks. Maybe he's trying to futz a little bit with Doubt's uh, mentality. He's keeping Doubt's scout really honest. That scout has uh, basically been hovering around that blacksmith, or that barracks, for quite some time. In the meantime, the blue player Slam has uh, probably canvassed the map a bit. Yeah, sort of. He's slowly working his way around. He's found a house of Doubt's. He's working very, very slowly toward the edge of the map, and he will eventually work his way in. Uh, the red player has gone to feudal pretty early. He has not built any any militia. He's actually walling up in a rather weird way. He's not going to get aggressive with villagers coming out to wall this up. It's probably a smart call. It would work against noobs, but uh, maybe it wouldn't work against slam. Dow would have to walk quite a ways and do a bit of walling. So my pipe dream of uh, him walling in this entire side does not seem to be a likely scenario. Looks like we'll see a stable from the blue player very quickly, and we will see double archery ranges from uh, Slam. Byzantine player going to go double ranges and maybe straight into skirmishers and a couple spears. Yeah, the spearmen coming out as we speak. Slam is going to do some extensive walling. I, I really think Doubt probably could get his walling done. He now knows that Slam is going double ranges, I would think. I would think that he scouted that. Yes, he did. He saw the foundations. I'm sure he clicked on them. Uh, so the red player might want to uh, go ahead and start to wall himself in. Mining camp coming up really early for Doubt. He's sending three villagers over to stone. This is a bit of a late transition if he's going to come forward with towers. Not sure. Maybe some defensive towers for the red player here in a moment. We shall see. But uh, Byzantines have fantastic trash, and it looks like Slam is ready to take advantage of that trash, building out spearmen uh, and building up some skirms. Uh, those units as a baseline, not very good at harassing vills. But well, yeah, you give them a couple of upgrades at the blacksmith, and they actually do become rather formidable. Let's see, the red player is now walling in, so he is going to take the time to wall in that left flank. I really think he could get this right flank done, but all right, I'll, I'll give it a rest. Market coming down now for doubt as we speak, and he's thinking about a stable and a market to get up. Four scouts out for the moment. Those will be headed forward to try to make a little bit of a push on Slam, who's adding in a blacksmith, and will soon have his entire front side walled in. Doubt's not got a lot of an opportunity here. If he wants to run right past the spear, he can. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, he's going to try to pick a skirm or be annoying as much as he can. But Skirmisher's coming out for the blue player pretty quickly. And uh, Doubt doing a nice job to avoid taking any damage on his scouts. But those scouts are probably useless now. Palisades up all around the left side for the blue player. The front is all walled in. Uh, this pond is soon going to be open if uh, if Slam's not careful. Now it looks like if he... Yeah, he's actually going to retask that villager as we speak to stop chopping these trees. Once he chops through those, uh, Doubt will have an opening into his base. But yeah, Slam here is totally walled up. Doubt's going to peel back his scouts, go back home. I, I don't know. He's thinking about an early castle, I suppose. Um, maybe a little bit more walling. Come on, man. Come on, Doubt. Let's see it, bro. Uh, blue player coming forward with that big group of trash. At the moment, we are seeing plus one damage on the skirms. No reason to upgrade the spearmen at this particular time. Those spears are going to walk right into Doubt Scouts. What is Doubt doing? Doubt for a moment there, and, and Slam as well. We're not quite paying attention and not patrolling. Slam wasn't patrolling. Doubt wasn't paying attention. Doubt will give one of his scouts away for free. Uh, but the red player here has walled himself in pretty nicely. The problem is he's walled his gold out. He's got stone inside of his walls, but his gold is on the other side. So the red player here will probably have to sell a little bit of stone in order to uh, get up to the castle age. For now, uh, we will see doubt on 173 stone, uh, 173 gold, 284 food, building up a blacksmith, continuing to build forward, trying to survive a little bit of harassment from Slam, who is adding in wheelbarrow as we speak. Slam is not closer at all. He's actually quite a bit further away from going up uh, than Doubt is, just starting to send villagers over to gold. Uh, but Slam here has a really nice balanced economy. 
good food eco, good wood eco, just sending villas to gold. He's one villager behind, uh, but that is because he clicked wheelbarrow earlier than his opponent. So Slam's got an army on the field. He's trying to push through the walls of doubt. He's got a couple of villagers here cobbed up and annoyed. The scouts, for the moment, for the red player, have not been able to do jack squat. Jack diddly squat. Diddly squat, maybe. Um, yeah, and uh, we've, we see doubt really just hardcore onto uh, stone. Red player has added in some skirmishers here. Yeah, okay. Going to keep his opponent honest, I suppose. Looks like those will have plus one damage as well. For the moment, neither player getting the defensive upgrade, and they're just skirmishing, literally, in the middle of the map. Skirmishing with skirmishers in the middle of the map. Uh, Slam's got to be feeling good about being walled in. He's also got to feel really good about uh, basically controlling this part of Doubt's map. For the time being, Doubt will be, uh, he'll be, tr he'll be using his market to get gold, and you can see he's actually doing that uh, rather intensely. I don't see a gold economy at all the red player but a pretty intense amount of stone being collected more skirms coming out of one range at the moment for doubt slam seems to have taken his foot off of the gas for a moment maybe slam is going to have now he's still got two ranges building skirms seems to uh, be keeping those skirms at home in defense for the moment that will click up to the castle age before slam slam though uh, he'll click up in just a couple of seconds all in all, it's not been a great start for Doubt, but I still think this game is going to be really within striking distance for him to win. If Doubt can push Slam out of this area and get a TC up on these gold piles, or in theory a castle, I mean, I know he's got 200 stone, but he's got 5 villagers on stone at the bottom and 5 villagers on stone at the top. 10 villagers on stone, he should have a castle soon, and a castle man that blocks Slam from this area would be fantastic. Anyway, enough about that. We're going to see uh, basically trash wars going on for the moment. Skirmishers from Doubt, if they could focus down these couple of spearmen, he could probably uh, take down Slam Skirms pretty quickly. But both armies are rather formidable at the moment. Doubt will soon be in Castle Age. He may want to get some of those Castle Age upgrades to really try to win this fight uh, hands down. Get some better trades with better technology. So for the moment, we wait for this engagement. I suppose we can speed this thing up just a wee bit. Go to 62%. Doubt roaming around looking for Slam's army. Slam hiding in the fog of war for now. Slam's accomplished a little bit of harassment here. He's kept Doubt busy. Uh, but it is time now for Doubt to push out on his own. Here I go again on my own. Bloodlines coming in. Scale barding armor coming in for Doubt. He's going to add in uh, some knights by the looks of it. Saracen's player is going to be able to push out rather quickly. He does still have a little bit of a task at hand. He's going to have to take down a couple of his opponent's spears. Slam bringing his army of trash back home. For now, he hasn't taken any damage. He's going to... Oh, he's going to kill a wolf. Uh, and he's going to basically rejoin a second small army. And those guys are going to camp out on a hill in defense. Initial couple of knights coming out for Doubt. Elite Skirmisher coming for both players. Bodkin Arrow probably coming for both players. Pikeman on the way for the blue player. Not surprising at all. Anticipating these knights. And for the moment, we've got a really interesting game. We've got a big group of soon-to-be pikes on the way. We've got elite skirms on both sides. We've got armies posturing around each other. Blue player's got to feel decent about being on top of this hill. But he's got to keep his pikes alive. This is really important. Doubt running in, he's able to get three of those pikemen down, and now these knights are going to absolutely have their way with this group of skirmishers. Really, really nice job from Doubt there to uh, focus down the pikemen. He sacrificed a couple of his skirms to kill those pikes, but in the end, he's going to get a lot of uh, Slam's army. He's going to kill a lot of Slam's army because of some really good army positioning and some really good micro couple archers coming out now for the blue player thinking about trying to kill these scouts i suppose but uh archers just really not the greatest unit to do the job he will slowly <laughs> retreat away this skirmisher army and they're just taking damage they're taking damage on the run more knights being added in from doubt absolutely chopping down slam's army at the moment slam building all of those elite skirms but at the moment he's really lost a lot Army numbers are equal, are about equal at this time, but the red player's got knights. 
and uh, Slam unfortunately just has trash. Slam will add in another TC on top of the hill there to protect his gold. And for the moment, we will see the blue player on 43 total villagers. On the other side of the map, Doubt has not added in another TC just yet, but he is a little bit ahead on villagers, uh, maybe just a little better balance of his economy. Has he added in another TC? Ah, there it is. Doubt power building a TC on that gold. Not too surprising to you or I watching from a thousand feet up, is it? Pretty obvious thing to do. Gotta protect that gold. Monks starting to roll out from Slam. Ballistics coming in, Crossbowmen coming in, and uh, Slam is ready to push back. So Slam got a few hits in early in the Feudal Age. He kept Doubt very busy. Doubt has pushed out. He's established uh, a safe gold economy now and um, pushed into Slam's area pretty deeply, killed quite a few skirms, and now it's Slam's turn to push back. So a really nice back and forth match so far here. Uh, blue player is going to chase Doubt all the way back across the map. Really nice to see these guys just basically going blow for blow here. Let's see. Siege Workshop coming up in defense for Doubt. He's got his second TC up. Siege Workshop is great if he can get a nice uh, Mangonel shot in onto this group. Uh, Doubt running in there. Not sure if he meant to. He's trying to focus down his opponent's pikes. But he's got to be really careful here. His knights are not in enough of a number in a conversion coming in there for Slam. Really will slow Doubt down quite a bit. Slam able to grab a knight and kill a skirmisher or two with that knight. Oh, this is not looking like the greatest engagement for the red player. Running in a bit, trying to chop down those skirms, but there's so many pikes here from Slam, and they're going to quickly surround those knights, get quite a few pokes in, and uh, these guys will continue to posture for the middle of the map. In the meantime, man, I really don't like Doubt's unit control right now. He's sort of uh, sending units out in a long, thin line. He's taking a ton of damage and not doing very much damage. Uh, in the meantime, as this fight happens, we see Doubt out to a three villager advantage still. That's because both players are cranking out vills on two TCs. At the moment, Doubt has not got much in the bank as far as uh, food and uh, gold, but he's got quite a bit of stone cooking up the... Uh, stone maybe he'll be able to build a castle here in a little bit man doubt once again just kind of sending in one knight or two knights at a time the pikes are going to chew up some of this group let's see if doubt can get some damage in another knight conversion this monk has been awfully useful a couple monks on the front for slam continuing to heal up these archers and skirms and uh, slam for now will win the middle of the map he'll push his opponent back home so, Doubt is cranking out villagers from two TCs. At the moment, not a whole lot of resources other than stone in the bank. Slam is hes in a similar boat, spending it as fast as he can get it, I suppose. Both guys in the mid-50 villager count. Uh, unit composition here is probably going to be the most important thing in the way that these units are microed. Slam's going to need more monks if Doubt's going to go deep into knights. He's got enough pikes now, but he's got to be really careful. Because if those pikemen go down to either mangonel shots or even to skirmisher fire, uh, then the rest of this group is really, really vulnerable. So, redemption coming in. Slam continuing to beef up his monks. He's going to use those couple of monks to just continuously heal these units. Just because the, your units are trash doesn't mean they're not worth healing from time to time. And that big glob of a trash army with a couple monks behind it is going to start pushing in. In the meantime, Doubt will run his knights off to the side. A lot of these, couple of these on very low HP. This poor fellow's on one HP. One foot in the grave, the other on a banana peel. Uh, but those knights can do some raiding if Doubt can find a way to slow down this main trash army. No use sending your knights in against this group. So Doubt may as well send them the long way around the map. They will eventually get into Slam's economy. Problem is, the blue player here, uh, he may have chopped through his wood line. Yeah, he's not fully walled. I think you can walk around this pond and straight in. We'll see if Doubt can do that. In the meantime, Siege Workshop uh, inevitably cranking out another Mangonel. We'll see a Mangonel coming forward. Will it get converted or will it? No, it won't. It will kill that monk and get a decent shot in on Slam's trash. So I am able to come forward with a knight, but for now, uh, Doubt will hold the line with a couple mangoes. 
couple mangonels on the front. Oh, sniping another monk down there. A couple mangos on the front are holding the line. Looks like this one did just get converted by the blue player. But in the meantime, Doubt is into Slam's economy. He's grabbing down villagers and idling. Problem is, these knights are only plus one defense, and a lot of them, like we said, are on really low HP. That one HP knight is still alive, though. We gotta watch this guy. This is his second TC that he's raiding. Oh, and there he goes. He's dead. That's too bad. But uh, 33 idle villagers, doubt doing a pretty significant amount of damage to Slam's eco, and he's holding Slam's army on the front. So at least for now, Doubt has done the best thing that I think he could do with this group of knights. You can't throw them onto pikemen and just let them die for free. You can't let them get converted. Uh, so he sent them all the way around the map, and he's continuing to idle the blue player's economy. Really nice bit of work, but now we've got to see a transition from Doubt. Not that kind of transition, guys. Uh, Doubt is going to have to transition into a different unit type. For the moment, it is going to be Mangonels up the wazoo for the uh, red player. He's added in a third TC, 78 villagers for Mr. Doubt. He's got a castle down to protect his gold, and he's coming down with a university as well. Wheelbarrow coming in for Doubt. Holy cow, that's a late wheelbarrow. But uh, nonetheless, coming in... <laughs> wow, wow. Doubt will go town watch as well. And uh, he's going to continue to crank out mangoes. I wonder if we're going to see mams. Is it time for some mams? What's the plan? Elite skirms coming for the red player for now. Building out mangonels. Getting ballistics. And for the moment, just continuing to boom that economy. Slam on the other side. He doesn't have too many difficult choices to make. He's going to continue to add in pikes. And he's going to continue to add in crossbows. He's got a couple of monks here. I think Slam's done a really nice job not to overcommit to monks. When your opponent sends their knights into your eco uh, to do everything they can raiding until they're totally dead, it kind of tells you that they're not building that many more knights. If Doubt was going to go deep into these units, he would want to preserve them. He would want to heal them up, or he would want to you know, not just throw them all into their death. Siege Workshop coming forward for Slam as we speak. Uh, still adding in a few monks here and there. His army is nicely healed for the moment. And he's just slowly creeping toward his opponent. Slam's got three TCs back at home. He's actually got four TCs back at home. He's still a couple vills behind Doubt. Uh, that is because Doubt has... Does he have four TCs as well? Doubt's on one, two, three that I can count. Interesting. Let's go to Doubt's point of view real quick. I see three TCs there. Doubt is still out to a villager advantage, but Slam will be on four TCs, so he'll take over that villager advantage soon. Imperial Age coming for both guys. They're three seconds apart from one another. Uh, range is coming forward for Slam. Siege Workshop's coming forward for him. For the moment, uh, Doubt is going into... Well, he's going into Heavy Plow. <laughs> he's continuing to build his economy. Double Siege Workshop. There we go. Now we're seeing some unit production buildings coming. A couple more Siege Workshops coming for the red player. Still thinking about holding the line. We'll see how deep he goes into Mangoes uh, as he moves forward here. Still no Mamelukes coming out for the moment. So we'll see the Saracens player just holding the line. If your opponent goes deep into Trash, I guess you can go pretty deep into Mangoes. Slam's got a few minutes here to maybe make something happen. He's going to drop a castle on the front. He's going to try to uh, hold the line with his push. Total map control at the moment for the blue player. He's not fully taking advantage of it yet. But at some point, you can envision Slam taking this gold if he still controls the map or these gold piles over here uh, because he's trapping Doubt inside his base. Let's see, Doubt will go to Padded Archer Armor. He's going to add in a couple more archery ranges, and I guess he's going to start thinking more deeply about Skirmishers. Skirmishers up the wazoo. This is looking like a pretty precarious position for Doubt. Slam's made some really decisive moves. You know, he's gone really deep into trash for a while. He's built some crossbows. He had a couple knights ready. He's been ready for what Doubt has thrown at him. And now Doubt is throwing... Uh, a couple skirmishers forward. Those are getting chopped down pretty quickly. They will try to kill this monk, but in the end, uh, man, that's probably about six or eight skirms going down for pretty cheap. Uh, Slam will lose a mangonel in the end, but we'll see. Imperial Age rolling in. Both players maybe. Maybe Slam here thinking about a treb right off the bat. Yeah, treb coming out. Couple rams. One ram here ready to rock and roll. 
Uh, meanwhile, on the other side, we've got Doubt going into what? Onager. No big surprise there. Trebs and Onagers. Doubt's going to try to hold the line with a bit more of a uh, beefy weapon. Certainly, Slam needs to avoid a big Onager shot here. That would help his opponent quite a lot. But uh, at the same time, these units have to be used. They can't just be sitting back and resting on their laurels. Chemistry coming for Slam, Arbalest coming for Slam, and Doubt will have Onager in just a moment. Arb is a tricky upgrade because these Onagers from Slam, uh, from Doubt, they're going to go down very, very quickly to a group of Arbs that's this big. Villagers also dropping pretty quickly. Looks like Doubt will lose a couple on top. He's 10 Villagers ahead as we speak. He's ready to really turn his boom into an army, but man, we got to see some more unit production. Uh... Double range elite, triple range elite skirms. Okay, that's some good unit production. Uh, double siege workshop onagers for the most part. A couple trebs rolling out. But it just doesn't really feel like a winning combination yet. We'll see. TC under fire on the top there, or right in the front there. A couple arms will roll in and grab a couple vills. Uh, but for the moment, both players are yeah, holding their own at about 100 villagers. Okay, a couple trebs from Doubt doing a little work on Mr. Slam. Slam's got something garrisoned in this castle. Yeah, just a monk. Ooh, ooh, what do we have here? Oh, boy. Uh, cataphracts starting to come out. Those units will be really useful to soak up uh, some of the skirmisher fire. Uh, they should be able to run in and do some damage on a couple of these onagers as well. Onagers are a really tough unit to push against right now for Slam, so a little cavalry is going to help him a lot, and a couple bombard cannons as well. Oh, sweet Jesus. Bombard cannons are the great equalizer. Running in, sniping these trebs, such a mobile unit, able to avoid skirmisher fire for now. Let's see. Onager shots rolling in. Doubt's got a... And he's got to defend his trebs. That treb is really under fire. Uh, Bombard Cannon will come forward and kill a second treb before it dies itself. Both armies squaring off here. Uh, Slam's got quite a few arms in the mix, and he does have superior numbers. Sending his pikes forward, Slam here trying to take down these onagers. Doubt's really been careful oh, until that very last shot. Doubt was really careful not to uh, suicide his own onagers. For the moment, though, the blue player's got some work to do. He's the aggressor. He's pushing in on his opponent. Oh, nice. Going to kill two Onagers. Going to kill three Onagers there on the front. This first Cataphract is an absolute beast. He's killed three Onagers and a Skirmisher, and then he helped his helped his army kill a knight. This is one beefy-ass Cataphract. They will run in the Cataphracts for now. I think they will be able to run in here and focus down quite a few Skirms. Uh, bombard Cannon Fire still coming in from a distance. Blue player in a really, really good spot. His Trebs are alive. He's killed three Trebs already from his opponent, Doubt. He's killed several Onagers. The Bombard Cannons continue to rain those cannonballs in from a distance. And Doubt just doesn't have a whole lot he can do to stop this. Red player is still cranking out trash. He's still 10 villagers ahead. He's still got a formidable economy. He's got an opportunity to continue to build military units, but he just cannot stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Byzantine trash spam. Slam with a really diverse army there. His, uh, his choice to go into monks early saved his butt against night raiding. Uh, he went pretty deep into pikes for a while. Once Doubt transitioned away from knights, you saw Slam go into full ARB production, and in the end, these couple of Bombard Cannons were really game-changing units. Trebs on the front for Doubt were tough to deal with. It would have worked on me, but Slam was ready with a couple Bombard Cannons. Really nice game there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Love seeing a non-mirror 1v1 on Arabia from time to time. And in this one, we will see Slam get the win with Byzantines. Doubt in the end was just creating a couple of Mams. A couple of Mamelukes coming out. It's hard to envision uh, Mameluke spam, spam winning this game for Doubt. I think uh, Slam had really nice positioning. He had a really diverse set of units. But I would have liked to see some Mams. That's just my opinion. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. Like I said in my last cast, I'll be live on March 28th. We'll be back on Twitch after a three and a half month break. Um, still some moving parts on that plan, but I'm going to aim for 20 GMT on March 28th. So if you're watching this and that date hasn't already come, 
uh, come join me. Come say hello. Or come say, hey, man, I hate you. I hate you, but I, I wanted to come tell you in person. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. Slam getting the win here. A very nice win for him. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Much love.